All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Escapist. It is now day four here at the Shankton State Penitentiary, where Pablo Punchwood, the hero of our story, is serving a life sentence for crimes unknown. He was, however, found guilty by a jury of his peers and sent here by a court of law. And without laws, my friends, we would have chaos. So he's happy to be here. We're all happy to be here. Otherwise, we wouldn't be playing this game, so. <laughs> Alright, let's jump in and get started. Oh, by the way, we have a new update. Alpha version 0 0.8025. This brings both good news and bad news. And I shall explain once we get started. Let's roll. Alright, guys. Day 4, and check it out. Lance, did you tuck me in last night? I went to bed without a pillow and a bed sheet. I think he tucked me in. Odell! Did... Did I just see Odell come out of Sebastian's room? I certainly did. Okay, that's odd. And I just made a trowel. That looks like a bed dummy. Okay. Uh, it's like the Twilight Zone here today, folks. <laughs> Goodbye, Cheryl Teagues. It's time to make the donuts, honey. I'll see you later. <laughs> Odell is now on my block. Unless my eyes deceive me, I could have sworn I saw him. What? Oh, a little, little face popped up over that guy's head. Do you see that? Sebastian, can you please explain this? Ain't got time to chat. Did you did you request a cell transfer? Now he's playing coy. Don't play dumb with me. Just answer the question. Straight up, man. Oh, dang fool. All right. Well, let's do some shopping here. Give away some gifts. we got a couple of shoes. Uh, oh, do. Here's Toby. He's a good friend. Pretty cool stuff indeed, Toby. Pretty cool stuff, that's what I say, Toby! Lewis, have a shiv before you run off. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff! What a copycat, that's what I say. Oh yeah, I like the Twilight Zone here after this update, guys. I want you to keep your eyes open for strange things, okay? I'm not gonna blurt them out, I want you guys to see it. I don't wanna spoil things, but yeah, some, some, there's some new things that we have now available to us in this game. And I want to see if you can spot at least uh, at least one of the uh, one of the, the new things here. Hold on, let me just get my items squared away. So I think I'm gonna bring bring these two. I don't need the dang sheet. Put the sheet up here. I know it's gonna get stripped off. All right, we gotta get the breakfast. And I will tell you guys what uh, what's new with this uh, with the game here in this latest update. I'm going to show you right now one of the things right here. I'm going to take Tobias's outfit. And I don't think I'll be seen over here. I'm pretty far from the guards. Now check it out. Now keep an eye on Tobias later. Okay. I'm going to do the same with Danny. Danny boy. And now they are naked. Because you know the rules around here. When I'm around anyway. Right? If you fight, I take your outfit. And there they go. <laughs> now let's see what happens when, you, when we see those guys again. Ow! Oh, I thought I got whacked. Oh, it's Larson. Oh, he did whack me, didn't he? Dang fool. Now, Larson. Oh, look at this. Look at all the contraband on Larson. Take his flashlight. Thank you very much. Save me from beating him up. He did hit me, didn't he? Now, watch. Larson. Oh, no, it's job day. All right, we'll catch up with Larson later. I gotta get to work. Gotta get to work. Let's get the broom and a mop. What are you talking about? It's my dang job, you jerk. You should be in there. Alright, well fine. How am I supposed to clean up these stains that you guys leave behind? Find a cure. You might want to ask a pharmacist. Alright, so yeah, just keep your eyes open, guys. And then I'll, I'll tell you some of the more obvious things. Um, hold on, what kind of jobs do we have here, anyway? Williams Razor from Officer Max. Williams File from Odell. Uh, we'll check his desk first and then beat him up. If it's not there. Well, actually, I don't think we're going to beat anybody up, but we'll check the desk anyway. Locate a pack of mitts for Terrell and a distraction at for Buster. That's busted. We'll get rid of it. Um, so Odell, even though he's now been transferred to my my block, his desk is going to be where it was originally. And that does happen occasionally when there's an update to the game. Sometimes the uh, the inmates get shuffled around. But their desks do actually stay where they were before. Like, here it is right there, for example. Cool. All right, let's get in here. Ah, oh, gosh. What? You didn't see? I was way in the back of the room. How could he see me? Eagle Eye. 
Uh, I'm gonna give away a chocolate bar. Because everybody loves sweets here in prison. Now, I forget the guys that were fighting, but uh, just see if you can keep your eyes open if you remember the names. And see uh, see what's different about them. Oh, wow, we've got to get one more stain. How much time do we have left in this job? Okay, here we go. Come on, be a tough stain. Tough stain. Got it! Good. Drop that. Let's get back to our room. Dump off this contraband. And just watch the guys as they talk, okay? T today. I can't really do it because it's hard for me to play the game and focus on what I'm doing and also watch the uh, the inmates and guards talking about things. And sometimes I catch it, sometimes I don't, but I want you guys to watch and keep your eyes on that as I play. And let me know what you see in the comments. Oh, shucks. I can't make my contraband pouch. I'm not smart enough. Dang it. I don't think the library has a, a detector, does it? I don't think so. All right, let's head down to the library like this and go get smarter. I want to make a contraband pouch. So I don't want to spoil all of the cool stuff in this update, but I will tell you guys um, some of the some of the new things. Like for example, uh, there's a new prison, San Pancho. And I, oh my gosh, I just got here and now it's time for roll call. There's a new prison, San Pancho. And apparently, the San Pancho prison is a prison uh, taken right out of Prison Break. Oh, hello, Jim Starling. Prison Prison Break, the the TV show is that the name of it? I don't watch it, but I know it exists, and I know a lot of people love it. A die, Sebastian. No, 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 no. Yeah, thumbs down to you too, pal. Oh, oddly enough, I saw Kiss in '78 too. I, we were there together. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's funny. Uh, <laughs> so that's one of the the, the clues, guys. <laughs> oh, man. I should probably just come clean. I'll come clean later. Not right now. I'm not ready to come clean. Um, screwdriver. We want that. We definitely want that. I can preserve my cutters, but it's really, really expensive, isn't it? But it's going to be super fast at unscrewing. $85. Let me think this through. What else do we need? Once we get up there, I'm going to need some super glue. Hold on, David. David, David, David. David used to be my, my roommate. Get out of here, Marshall. Drive by. David, not my roommate, but my block mate. I always say roommate, but what I mean is uh, he's, he's near me, right? I'm going to give you some chocolate too, David. And now, now what's the price? Down to 68. All right, that's good. I'll take it. David's feeling much better about me buying from him. It's in good hands, David. Don't you worry. And you know what I miss, guys? I miss the uh, the names. Oh my gosh! If I get, Oof. oh boy, if I get the shakedown now, I'm in some serious, serious dog poop. I don't think we are though. You know what we're gonna do right now? It is a free period. Here's what we're gonna do. We're heading up. We're heading up. We're heading up. This is super risky. Oh, I can't. All right, that's fine. Just leave it like that. Just leave it like that. Leave it like that. Put that down. Shocks. You know why? Because I don't have the fake vent cover. We need... Ooh, all right, let's go. We got we to gotta find uh, some, some, uh, some super glue. And toothpaste. So we'll just take that. I'm going to go through some desks now. Trevor... And once we make the uh, the super uh, the um, the paper mache, we can make another a, a fake vent cover. Check the desk. Get closer. Come on, super glue. Pierre's desk. Hmm. Well, let's just give some stuff away while we while we can. Anyway, David. Oh, <laughs> David, I've already given you enough. Cheers to you too. Larson's desk. Ah, shucks, ink. I need all this stuff, but I don't really want it right now. David again? <laughs> Follow me around. He knows I'm going to give him stuff. <laughs> all right, hold on. Sebastian? Oh, no. I don't like Sebastian anymore. How about Joe? Awesome. Hold on, Joe. Let me give you a comb shift, too. Oh, I guess that one didn't work. Brad's desk. 
on. Super glue, yeah! All right, so now... Oh, wait, it's not... It's not... I'm sorry. It's not toothpaste. It's toilet paper is what I need. Toilet paper and super glue. Come on, there we go. I know, I know, I know. Saw that coming. There we go, paper mache. Excellent. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I missed. Ooh, ooh, camera. Did the camera see me if I'm right under him? Okay, Daniel. Watch, taking that. Okay, drop it. We'll go check on Daniel in a minute. In fact, we're going to follow Daniel. Fake vent cover. It's now evening meal. We should probably get over there to avoid the, na the nasty heat. And I'm going to have to take some of this stuff out of here. Um... Hmm. You know what? Let's leave the book, actually. I'm going to take the, uh... uh... I don't really need wire. I want to hang out of the book. No contraband. Now watch Daniel. Watch Daniel. Goes in to his room, grabs another inmate outfit, and puts it on. That's the bad news that I was talking about. <laughs> So no, no longer can I strip these guys down as a badge of honor. Sadly, after they get caught fighting, or after yeah, after I beat them up or they get beat up. So that's kind of a bummer. All right. So now let us uh, hold on. Divert the guards from Buster at Shower Block. Here's something else that I've learned. When you do a diversion. The way I've been showing you, if you, you know, punch a guard and then you get beat up and sent to the infirmary, you actually lose um, money. They take some of your cash as sort of a copay, it's an insurance copay, and they also, uh, you lose a couple of your stats too, apparently. That I have not verified, but I have verified that they do take some money from you. It's, it's, it's a, uh, a fixed amount, it's not very much, it's only a few bucks. Like, for me, one time they took $4 um, in, a, in a test game. And then in another one, they took 6 So, it's a percentage of what you have. Now, check this out, guys. We have... We have this new speed bag. And you've got to hit... You've got to punch the bag right around here somewhere. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm, okay, I'm not very good at this. There, oh, there we go. Yeah, right there. Right where my arrow is. Oh, that thing right there, maybe? Or anywhere in here, I suppose. Yeah, okay. Anywhere in here, you get credit for it. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So there's no more mashing the buttons for for this particular apparatus, anyway. You still have to do the, you know, mashing the Q and E when uh, when you're on the treadmill or the um, or when you're lifting weights. That hasn't changed. So apparently, it's sort of a compromise. You know, some people like mashing the keys and some people don't. I personally don't like it at all, but, you know, I think this is uh, kind of a compromise for both sides of the fence, so to speak. Toothbrush shiv. I can do that for you. Oh, ooh, what was that? So that, oh, you see that? It danced around when I got the new job. That's cool. Let's get some more jobs. I like dancing. Super glue is excellent. Oh, man, I don't really need a trial because I'm not doing any digging. Now, the one thing this does do is it does send them to their room. So I suppose you could take their clothing, especially if you want them to maybe miss a job because it's going to take time to get all the way back to their room, right? In fact, I'm thinking about changing my job file. Eh, I suppose. You know, instead of doing the janitorial job, maybe we can try something different. Okay, what do we have here? Fake vent cover, screwdriver, flimsy cutters. Let's try the screwdriver. Right now, we're going to get through this really fast, and we'll bring this up with us. Because uh, that I can use during the night and won't be seen, But because it's not as fast as a screwdriver. But we want to do this really quickly with the screwdriver. As long as the guards don't see us, we should be fine. It's good that I can see guards coming. How we doing? How we doing? How we doing? How we doing? 4%. No guards go. No guards go. And fake vent cover. Perfect. Alright, we're in. 
we're in. All we have to do is tonight, we'll put the bed dummy in, we'll climb on up there, and then we can, uh, oh, I got the real vent cover too. Check that out. So I imagine this is gonna work a lot like the wall block that you get out of the walls. So you can put it back in, but you'll have to re either recut it out or rescrew it out with one, you know, one whack. So it's like at a 10% or something. Um, that's my guess. I have not verified that. It's just a theory of mine. How about if we make some more hot cocoa? I'm carrying all this stuff around. I've got all the ingredients for hot cocoa. Always good to have so we can get some keys. Easy to drop the guard with that stuff. And let's get our contraband all sorted. Uh, oops, let's do this. Uh, nope, that's not going to work. And that, and that. All right, cool. Put that, that, that. And I wanted to drop the wire. I don't really need it. Oh, I want to make a padded inmate outfit. I don't think I need this for anything else right now. Because I think we're going to start whacking some guys for money. Ah, shucks. I need a lot more intelligence for this one, huh? No problem. We can go study right now. It's evening free period. So let's go do it. You know what I need, though? I am going to need some bed sheets to cover up. <gasps> that camera spotted me. Did you see that? Now it's going to send a guard over here. Look. Did you check that? You see it? <laughs> Isn't that amazing? It's kind of cool. Can I put a bed sheet back on my bed? No. Um, dang. Better watch out for that now. I think it did that before, I just never made the noise. Uh, found out who's been snitching on me. The, uh, on me to the ward and distract the guards exercise period. I'm not gonna do those anymore because I don't want to lose stats and money. So, good to know. Uh, what do we have here? Toothbrush shiv. File for Joseph. Pack of mints. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing really great. Come on, hit him harder. I ain't got all day. Better call us all. Oh, yeah. Now, again, keep your eyes on these guys' the little quips that they say throughout the day. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, here's mints. And cooked food. Lots of goodies there. How about... To, oh, Bentley. David. David and I are starting to get along here. So let's give him a nice... You know what? I gave him a shiv already. Let's give him some cooked food. What? You got nothing to say about that? Yeah. In great. Pack of mints for Terrell. I just saw Terrell. I just saw him. I just saw him. Flash before my eyes. There he is. Hey, Terrell. I got your mints. 19 bucks. Let's read this note. Spiked bat. Hmm. I wonder what strength that thing is. 70 intellect. Duct tape. Tape and nails. All right. Not, not super easy to make. And Terrell? How about a shiv, pal? Cheers to you too, mate. Let's get some more intelligence. This is always important. So what else do we have here as far as this update goes? Uh, eating now gives a temporary boost to fatigue drain. Tweaked code for guards removing hung sheets. Yes, they now actually say stuff about the sheets. <laughs> so keep your eyes on that. And I suppose I should come clean now because um, I'm going to have to tell you sooner or later. Yeah, so with this update... You can now use a custom speech file. And the custom speech file can be edited by you with a text editor. And you can um, add entries to what these guys say. So there's already, you know, a couple hundred of things that they say throughout the day. And during various periods of the day and uh, for various events as well. And they, um, you can, so you can go in there and actually modify that file and add things for them to say to you. Or, or at all, really. So I have a custom file made up that Team 17, the developers of the game, asked me to make for them. So I sent it to them, and they have it up on their website. So I'll put a link down below to that. It talks about the, uh, how, how you can do it, too. So, so yeah, some of the quips that I have in here, I've added maybe 10, uh, more than that, maybe 15 to 20 different catchphrases from my videos and references to things from my videos that you guys might be able to spot. Uh, like the kiss poster thing and the pretty cool stuff and there's a whole bunch more too 
So keep your eyes open for that. I thought that was pretty cool. In fact, I'll put a link down below to my speech file if you want it. And you guys can throw that into uh, into your game. All right, let's let's focus now on what we're gonna do tonight. So first things first, let's grab this guy out. I don't know if I'm getting shakedown, guys. I didn't happen to notice. Shucks. But I think we're gonna head up. Oh boy. Nope. Okay. Um, we can go work on another vent and I can throw this one in there and we can bring some of this contraband up top with this like sc screwdriver and the cutters yeah why don't we do that all right let's put the bed dummy in I could go check up on the roof too I can move this stuff up on the roof well, well put the bed dummy in first oh no oh no oh no Put the fake vent cover in. There we go, we're good. Now hopefully I don't get um, a shakedown. Not that that would matter if I'm up here. I'm still going to lose everything. All right, well, we can't go very far, can we? So here is the, looks like the maintenance ladder to the maintenance hall behind my cell. And there's a door here anyway. Interesting, it's an orange key. So I can't get through that without the key anyway. All right, so I guess we're not going to go that way tonight. But what we can do is cut through this vent right here. And I'm going to use these flimsy cutters. I'm going to save this for one of these vents to move up and down fast rather than cutting. And I don't even know if this screwdriver would work on these slats because this isn't a vent cover. They're slats. Right? So technically, it's a different beast. There we go. We're through. Awesome. What time is it? 2 o'clock in the morning. 28%. Uh, That's not going to be enough to get through another slat. This is like right over the roll call area, I believe. And there's a ladder here. We need to figure out where that goes. But I want to get over in this area. Or at least find the workshops. We need to find the workshops. I'm not exactly sure where they are. But this right here is fantastic, guys. Now we can just drop stuff off up here. Contraband-wise. Um, I think I'm going to leave this vent cover here. And now this is going to be a little bit risky. <gasps> I'm going to move some of this up top. Not all of it. I want some of this down here to use. Like this for upgraded cutters. I will bring it up because I can't do anything with it down here. Duct tape I'll leave down here in my desk because it's pretty useful for many things. And the hot cup of cocoa is going to stay down here too. And the guard outfit. Hmm. Get rid of I never dropped that stupid wire. I think we're going to bring this up too, guys. Yep. Let's just put this... Uh, I don't really need the outfit. Timber. And I think... I think what we're going to do right now is grab some of these items because I don't want to lose... Oh my gosh. Sorry, Cheryl. Get back up there. Uh, this, that, mold. And we're good. Put the fake, fake vent cover in. And we got to keep the turkey here down with us. We'll take it out of the oven. <laughs> that looks like a big butterball. And there we go. Alright, not a bad day. Not a bad day at all. So now we have access to uh, a lot more storage. Not too concerned about that junk back there. They can take that if they want. And now we're down to just one, two. Hey, you're not even contraband, you dang fool. We'll get out of here. One, two, three items of contraband. So we don't have to do much shuffling in the contra with the contraband shuffle, right? You know what? Well, hang on to the wire now. I have space. I might as well just keep it. I was going to flush it, but no, that could cause a problem. What else can we make while we're here? Now we're good. We are good. Oh! Ooh, what's my intelligence? 56. I think I need 60 for the... Uh... Right? 
did I lose intelligence that quickly? We're gonna find out. Can I get naked in my own room? Let's see why not. Maybe four more. Oh my gosh. All right. We're gonna have to go back and do that. In the next episode, which will be on Wednesday. No, Thursday. It'll be on Christmas Day. Is that Thursday, right? Yes, the next episode will be on Christmas Day, December 25th. I'm probably going to record it right now because I don't have time to do it on Christmas. I'm going to be kind of busy with the family. But I will upload it on Christmas morning as a little gift for everybody out there. All right. With that, folks, I'm going to call it quits. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. And uh, let me know some of the quips that you guys see down in the comments. If you see any guards say some funny stuff that you recognize from my videos. And it might not be just from escapists. It could be from, like, Minecraft videos. Let me know. Put it down in the comments. Uh, I'm interested in seeing that. And if you have any ideas for me to add any more entries, let me know. All right, guys. i got to get to bed before I uh, lose this save. All right. Have a good night. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.